So this section of the Mystique app uh, focuses on twofold rotation completions. So the first thing that we need to do is make a copy of this artifact fragment shown on the left here into the grid on the right. So let me go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to do the blue cells. Okay, here, uh, one quick double check to make sure I got everything right. Did it make any mistakes? Okay, and that looks good. Okay, so what we can do now is ideally we'd be able to sort of picture each cell rotating uh, directly and like for example if I rotate around this center point right here so here's a horizontal line that cut sorry a vertical line that cuts this grid in half and here's a horizontal line that cuts this grid in half and here's the center point so I want to rotate about this point right here and so if I rotate this 180 degrees around it shows up down here um, I can visually try to see that but what I can also do is just sort of calculate this out and so the way to do this right is I'm going to start at the center point and navigate to this corner right here. So I go up one, two, three, and then to the left, one, two, three. So when I rotate that 180 degrees, up becomes down and left becomes right. So I go down one, two, three, and right one, two, three. So I'm going to place a cell here, a yellow cell there. So these pairs are okay now. And I'm going to be systematic about this. I'm going to process this one row at a time. So I'm going to go across here, all of these cells so far. Uh, I'm not going to worry about whether these cells are empty. I'm going to, if they get populated later, it'll be when I come down here. So I'm going to go across here. I see this cell. I need to rotate this 180 degrees. That is going to end me up down here. There's different ways to think about this. One is it's one away from the corner. It's one in from the corner. Or let me just double check this. So I go up one, two, three, and to the right, one, two. Now I go down one, two, three, and to the left, one, two. So yes, these are cell pairs and they are now the same. So the first row has been processed. The second row also has been processed. Now we move on to the third row and I need to uh, rotate this 180 degrees. This is very close to this point of rotation, so maybe it's a little easier to see. I can see that this goes here like this, but let me let me double check this. So I'm kind of doing a little bit of seeing it in my mind's eye and then double checking to make sure that I'm see what I'm seeing in my mind's eye is actually what's there. Okay, so I go up one to the right one. That's the same as down one to the left one. So these guys are pairs. We go up one. To the left to the right two they go down one to the left two so these two cells are pairs okay so they're okay so this row has now been completed now comes a, a row that's on the major uh, diagonal major horizontal line here this is that runs through the center point and so there's no so for every cell here where i have to go left i just have to go right there's no up or down so that makes it a little easier i think and also visually a little easier to see right Okay, so these guys are okay. And now this row is processed, so now I move down to the next row. This one goes up here. Let me double check this. So I go to the left, one, two, three, and down one. That's the same thing as going to the right, one, two, three, and up one. Okay, so this is good. Uh, these are already okay. This is fine. This one here, ends up over here and to be honest I can go ahead and put this one in here too uh, this is just sort of a little bit of a shortcut I, I'm departing from my algorithm my rigorous algorithm of doing one row at a time here but let's double check this so I go down one to the right one is the same thing as going up one and to the left one down two and to the right one is the same as going up two and to the left one. Okay, so this group has been processed. This one has already been processed. Now we're working on this one. 
So this has to go over 180 degrees, which is going to be up here. But let me double check that. I go to the right, one, two, three, and down one. So that's the same thing as going to the left, one, two, three, and up one. Okay, and that brings us down. This row is already completed. We've already done this. And now comes this last row right here. And let's see, we have a diagonal here. And actually, since these three are connected, I kind of can tell that already. And this one is connected here. I could double check these, but I, I'll go ahead and skip, skip that part. So now we just submit, make sure we got everything right. And yes, we have the right answer. And so that's, that's how you can go about doing these two-fold completions.